Kofi. He says, contrary to such perceptions, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture is struggling to prevent a food glut as it prepares to buy excess from farmers throughout the country. The country continues to import food crops from other countries to meet growing demand. Currently, Ghana is ranked the second highest importer of tomato paste after Germany, according to a research by the Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research. This aspect say is Our focus is no more on production. We take cassava. There's so much cassava being produced in Ghana. The farmers are leaving cassava in the ground, waiting for markets. So production is no more the problem in Ghana. But the utilization of the products is what we need to focus on. So those doomsday, doomsday people who are trying to paint the picture that uh, we are heading for a minute farming is not true. To boost yield, the Ghana Armed Forces has begun a model greenhouse technology. I'm hearing farmers kit expected to double crop yield. All right, so we sincerely apologize for that issues with the sound. But we'll quickly look at other interesting details. Well, this afternoon we're talking about the precious metal gold. For so many years, many countries have used gold as a safe haven. Anytime um, stocks and other issues tremble on the market. But for some time now, producing countries suffered some setbacks in and around because of the thumbling price of gold on the international market. Well, joining us in the studios is Raymond Avonio. Raymond is from Gig Market and he is a currency and commodities analyst. He joins us to share some of the details about the prices of gold. Ray, thanks for coming into the studios today. Well, it's been quite interesting. For some time now, we saw gold dip, but not long ago, we've seen a marginal up on the market. First of all, give me that historical trend with gold, and then critically, we can move into features that have seen uh, the precious metal decline in and around this time. All right, thank you very much. Um, Interestingly, gold um, went up very high in the 1970s to around um, 882 per an ounce. And it stayed there for a while. However, it tipped down in the 1980s and it stayed in that zone for close to 20 years till 2000 into 1999 and 2000 where we had gold rise obviously there should be a chat on the screens right now that viewers can get a clearer understanding but you can go on and explain yes so so we had gold moving in 2000 gradually moving up however in 2008 we had a global economic meltdown where um you know uh, us was struggling several other currencies were not doing well now when you have these things happening what happens is that people move to gold with the hope that um, gold prices will always rise, gold prices will always do well, and therefore they would rather keep their investment in gold than in hard currency. Now, this caused a lot of other countries to be holding gold, and therefore gold became a precious metal again, and gold rose to one nine hundred, one thousand nine hundred C uh, dollars. Those were the peak times. Those were the peak times. See, uh, we have the charts on the board, the rise and fall of the precious metals, but you can just um, go on with. Uh, now, um, when you look at the previous chart, I think the chart that came before this one, if the, uh, gold rose to 1,900. At 1,900, that was the highest gold went to. Now, what is happening now is that most economies like India, they are encouraged holding gold. And therefore, they are discouraging and putting taxes and all, every other impediment to stop people from holding gold. This has affected price globally. So what happened, what is happening now, started from India. And then you have other countries such as uh, Germany, and France discouraging people from holding gold. I think this will be more of that demand and supply thing. Now, if a lot of people are holding on to it, there's a great demand for it, so prices obviously goes up. Mm -hmm. At the point in time, if uh, countries are encouraging that, look, there is no need to hold on to the precious metal. Give it out. There's a lot on the market, so we'll see prices come down. But we saw a marginal increase. Do you think the future looks bright for gold producing nations like Ghana? Now, that marginal increase you see is actually profit taking. It's actually hedge funds in America, hedge funds around the world who are taking profit. So you see a correction in price. What you are seeing is rather a correction in price. It's not price going up. Now, gold is going to even become worse for people who are dealing in the metal itself but for organizations who are into speculative trading this is their field day they're going to make money so there's no hope for gold for now 
Um, tomorrow we'll have the third FOMC meeting where um, Mr. Benanke and his group are going to decide what they're going to do to the economy. Now, the fund How would Ben Benanke's information or statement he puts out there affect the price of gold? All right. They support the economy with $85 billion every month. Now, if they taper by just 10 to 12%, it's going to give more hope to the dollar. People are going to become interested in the dollar and believe that dollar is going to go back up. So investment is going to move from precious metals into gold, into dollar. And when this happens, okay. gold and then when money. it's looking that we were talking about um, the equities and the like and the money market instrument, people are going to buy into currencies rather uh, and do breaks business with um, um, trading not in the precious metal, but in, in, in currencies. So when you when this happens, gold is going to tip down, and there's a likelihood that gold is going to go as low as 800. But, but that is speculation. That is speculation that you give us. That but but then Anki is going um, probably uh, to, 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 to announce measures to cushion the economy. And this would let people veer off from the precious metal. It's speculated, isn't it? It is speculated. But the chart tells the truth. If the chart can be shown again, you realize that if you look at the down part of the chart, you have the relative strength index. It's a line that is below 50. It has to cross 50. It's below 50. It's telling us that still the market is going to drop down. The chart tells the truth, not economics. The chart will tell you okay. all the information. So we have the, um, now, this is the gold and dollar ratio, uh, okay. where you have uh, then uh, the line happens to be the gold and uh, the US dollar index. So what is happening is that they're going to change positions over time. The gold is going to drop further. So now, before the, uh, maybe around December, you may have gold just going a little around 1,400. This is not because gold is going up. This is because a few people who think the prices are cheap are acquiring them. That's okay. why. That's what is happening. So, so there will be a little bit of demand. Yes, for it. because you may want gold because it's low. You want to buy, but the fact of the matter is that when you have finished buying, a lot of other people are rather moving. Hedge okay. funds, organizations. Sure uh, actually, yes. looking at um, um, that particular chart, but it's just off the yeah. screen. But H you can go. Hedge funds, uh, money markets big institutions will be moving into gold. It will be moving into currencies. Now, when they move, they're going to leave the precious metal. Precious metal is going to lose its value. Indian is stopping. Okay. French, right. France so, is um, stopping. Germany is I'm stopping. Just tipped of that, we're back on the screen. So the line down, uh, yeah. that is the future of gold. That's the future of gold. For gold to go up and for us to have hope in gold, that big red line, around yeah. 1,600, it has to be crossed by gold. If gold can cross 1,600, there's no way it's going to go. But where are we now? We are around 1,320. And that's and so we are below. We are below. And there's a likelihood that we'll go further below. But, but around December, we're going to go around 1,400 because it's Christmas. A marginal recovery. Yes, it's a Christmas. Lot of people, people be buying, buying jewelry, 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 jewelry gifts. For. That's what is going to happen. But after that, gold is going to go down to 1,000. By 2015, we are going to have gold around 800. That's what is going to happen to gold. Now, what mining firms can do is that, you know, it's expensive to close a mine, and it's even more expensive to reopen a mine. So they can look at still mining, uh, involving in initiating various technologies to keep the cost of mining low, and then move their, their, their cash into speculative trading of gold or other precious metals. Now, the only commodity market I can talk about that has some hope is grains. Talk about um, corn soybean and uh, white sugar okay. okay these things have uh, these things are um they go up in terms of their real value in terms of the commodity itself and in terms of it being speculated on of course they are the consumable yes so they, they are the ones that we have to be looking at but for gold is dumped and you think, um, let's come back to our local settings. Now we have industries. Ghana is a major gold producing mm -hmm. country. I mean, um, in per, uh, your own analysis, what do you think we should be doing now? Uh, we, we should start, we should initiate technology. Okay, reduce the number of people. Definitely they have done that. They have uh, downsized. Um, I'm sure some mines will be shutting down. But uh, when you initiate technology, you still make some marginal profit move into speculative gold trading like the, the hedge funds in America whereby you can trade online because that one you can make money whether it is going down or up irrespective of the direction of the market if you can time the market with the right market timing tools you will make money but selling the precious metal at high demand it won't happen now don't you think one way or the other jewelry and everything could also or that one is just a fraction of the pricing really the major buyers are the ones who keep the precious metal as a safe haven i give some information here indian 
consume, recently consumes one third of the world, the global good produced around the world. One third. That's, true. That's how much they consume. Now, if you have a country like that, and you have governments and politicians and uh, discouraging people from holding it, what are you going to do? They hold one third. They buy one third of it. If you go to um, uh, Kazakhstan, Russia, Turkey, um, some of these countries, in March, they purchase a lot of gold. Values are going there. They're going to leave them. They are business-oriented nations. You have Germany getting out of it. You have France even discouraging Indians. Now, these people, are, they are discouraging a lot of people from gold. There's nothing is going to happen. If you are buying gold in Ghana, it's just marginal. It's not going to do anything. It's going to go maybe by one tick, two tick, three tick. It's not going to take gold over 100, over 1,000. No. Okay. The arguments and discussions on gold will continue, but I've been speaking to Raymond Abonio. He's from Gigs Market, and Raymond is a currency and commodities analyst. Joined us in the studios to brief us on the international market, gold's performance on the market. Raymond, I'm sure we would have you come into the studios with time to discuss other ways we can creatively be able to rake in enough from our precious metals, even as a nation. But sincerely, would say a big yeah, thank you. Yeah. Definitely, you should know that you had this first on TV3, obviously remaining first in news and this happened on the business segment. We'll be coming back shortly, we'll talk about sports and then we'll do some more international stories later at 4.30. We'll join you with updates from the market, looking at commodities and also staying on the Forex market. My name is Kwiku Timin. Tonight we have business focus. Stay with us.